Running Report is one of the most powerful thing you can do in QuickBooks to see how good business is performing. Let's go over the Report Center in QuickBooks Online and how to run reports from it. Then you will learn how to customize your report so you see what you need to make the best decision possible. Select the Business Overview, Reports. Note that your navigation may look like this. QuickBooks divides your reports into categories to help you find what you need. The first section is your favorite reports. These are the reports you run more often than the others and always want to see at the top of the list. Scroll down further to see reports that give you an overview of your business, insights into who owes you money, sales and customer and more. If you find a report you use often, select a star to add it to your favorite so that it appears at the top of the report center. You can also search for the report you want, enter the name of the report or just any word in the name, like profit, and QuickBooks lists any reports that matches what you entered. Let's run the profit and loss statement. The profit and loss statement displays all the income, cost of sales, and expense accounts you use within the report's date range. This profit and loss statement is for this year to date. The totals for each account are summary of all the transactions you assigned to the account in that date range. Since this is such a broad date range, let's break up the date by column. Select the Display column by drop-down menu, Month. Then, Run Report. Now you see the income and expenses for each month so far this year, across the column. This kind of report is helpful for seeing trends, but it doesn't show a dollar or percentage change from month to month. Let's add column for comparison. First, change the report back to Show Total Only. Run the report to show totals for last month's transactions. Then select the Compare Another Period drop-down menu. Let's compare last month to the previous month and select Dollar Change and Percentage Change. Run the report again. Now the report shows last month because it's the report date range in comparison to the previous month. This also works to compare weeks, quarters or years. This example uses a profit and loss statement, but you can do this with many other reports. If you want to see fewer details for specific section of the statement, select the arrows to the left of the account names to collapse the sub-account. Now you see one line with total for that section. Select the arrow again to view the details once more. You can also collapse all of the sub-accounts and expand them back. You can also email this report, print or export to Excel or PDF. Let's look at another way to change what the report shows you. Select Customize. Right now, the report shows your profit and loss for the last month compared to the month before it, and QuickBooks uses all of your data to build that report. Let's just look at the income and expenses from our best customer. Turn on the Customer filter. Select the customer from the list and then run the report. Now the report only shows income and expenses related to a specific customer. This is a useful report and you want to make it easier to run in the future. Select Save Customization, name the report, then Save. Let's go back to the Report Center and select the Custom Report tab. Select the report's name to run the report again with updated data. Now you can run and customize report to gain insights into different aspects of your business.